Hello again everybody, this is Adam bringing you another small bit of Adobe Lightroom wizardry for Contrastly.com. Thank you so much for coming back and joining us. Today we're going to be looking at an outstanding tool whose value really can't be overstated when it comes to processing your images, especially your landscape images. Um, in fact, it is so versatile that it is limited really only by your imagination, so for the sake of duration we're going to stick with the basics today. And what we're talking about is the graduated filter tool, this little guy right here in the develop module. And what it's going to allow us to do um, is accomplish in post-processing what you can do before you actually make an exposure with a graduated neutral density filter. Um, we've touched on this in the previous video on our presets, but now we're going to look at it in a little more detail. Basically, what the graduated filter will allow you to do is process areas of your image separately without disturbing other areas within the photo. Now, this is a great way to really take some creative control over your photography. So let's just jump right in. Uh, of course, like I said, we're in the develop module. We're starting out with a raw file, as always, is what you see here. And we're going to use multiple graduated filters to process certain parts of the image independently. Now, as where a physical graduated neutral density filter, you know, the piece of glass that's got a gradient on it that you put in front of your lens, uh, allows you only to control exposure, the graduated filter in Lightroom is going to let you add virtually any edit that you like, and that includes sharpness, clarity, um, saturation adjustments, contrast, that the haze feature I'm always going on about. Uh, literally, well, not everything, but virtually everything. So let's just get started. Okay, so here's our image. Um, it's overall flat, like most raw files begin with, uh, but to actually adjust it, and let's just adjust the exposure here, it's not really doing much to help the overall photo. Um, even though it's lightening up with the exposure, it's lightening globally, it's lightening the entire image, and we don't want that right now. So we're going to make the best use of our graduated filter. And you go up, click on the filter or shortcut M on your keyboard for PC or Mac, and let's start at the top of this image. And what we're wanting to do is bring out some detail and increase the contrast with these trees here in the mist, give it a nice glow, and at the same time, not overexpose the road and maybe bring out some of this nice saturation in the leaves and uh, up these shadows just a little bit, bring in some clarity to the lower portion of the image. So let's start at the top. We're going to click, hold, and drag. And this is an interesting uh, little bit of information that you might want to know. Not so much with this image, but if you're working with an image that is, let's say, a seascape or uh, an images of water where you're working with a fairly flat horizon, or even in some of your landscape photos where you're working on a very flat horizon trying to get a big sky, if you get a little lopsided with your filter while you're holding down, simply hit the shift key and that will automatically straighten the filter. Anyway, it's a nice little tool to have. But, like I said, in this particular image, we're going to go a little bit lopsided on purpose. So we've brought down our filter, and I want to make it follow, for this adjustment, relatively follow the curvature in the direction of the road, and focus on those trees like this. Now if you'll notice, you have this dot in the very middle, three lines, this line separates the filter itself, and everything in this instance above this dot, everything north of that line, showing up in red, is where the edit will be applied, everything below it will not be adjusted. So let's just start out to give you an idea of what we're working with, a little bit of exposure increase, and we can see that's already bringing out that mist and detail them with the trees and I'm also going to down the temperature of that mist just slightly and let's bring up a little saturation as well and also some white. Alright, that's pretty good so far. 
Now we're going to move on and adjust the bottom part of the image and there's a few ways that you can go about this. You can either click on um, new. This will make a new graduated filter. Um, you, know, you could actually go in, close out, make some global adjustments, then go back in, hit new filter, uh, so on and so forth. But for me, what I do, and I find this is the easiest, especially if we're going to make some similar adjustments to the image that we've already made with this filter, the easiest way to do this is to hover over the dot, right click, and hit duplicate. Now what that is going to do is literally clone the filter, all the adjustments that you've made with this filter, to a brand new filter. And from there, all you have to do, hover over the medial line, the pointer turns, tur turns? <laughs> turns into two little arrows, and we just rotate. So now, instead of everything above the line, and we can reposition, instead of everything above the line being adjusted, we've rotated it so everything below the line will be adjusted. And it's really just that easy. So what do we want to do with the bottom part of this image? I know that we wanted to increase the contrast. We've done that. We don't want to increase the whites. We want to increase a little clarity. And we've already got the saturation increase, but let's bump that up a little more. Bring out those shadows a little more. And that's looking pretty good so far. Okay, and let's just bring up the warmth. Bring up that temperature just slightly to get those leaves. Like I said, it was a nice, nice fall day. Nice, well, I would say nice, but it's uh, nice for my taste anyway. It was good and rainy. Pretty cold as always it is in Appalachians. And there we go. And let's bring out some more highlights in that road like that. Let's bump the whites back up. Yeah, there we go. All right. And that's looking pretty good so far. And let's just take stock of the image here. Click done. Go into our split panel. And this was all done, as you saw, with the graduated filter tool. And, you know, of course, the image for me would be okay as is. Uh, we can go back in do some global developments. Um, in fact, let's just look at that right now and then we'll talk about how you can go in and readjust some of your graduated filters. Um, let's add a little contrast to the overall image and back that off just a little bit. Add a little less clarity. Now, let's say we want to go in and either add another graduated filter tool or adjust one of our filter tools that we've already used. Very simple to do. We're going to click on the filter tool again. The dots represent the filters, of course. You can hover over each one, click, and that's going to tell you where where you're going to be working. Now, what I'm going to do here is not adjust these filter tools, but I'm going to actually layer, and not in the Photoshop sense of layering using layer mask but we're going to essentially stack more filter tools to get a look that we want and you can do this simply by clicking new and applying it wherever just like you did the first time and in this case I'm wanting to work with some more of these trees but in a slightly different position than we did prior so let's just get this adjusted. I want to work with these trees over here to the left and down that exposure to kind of let our eyes follow this leading line all the way back up the highway here. And that's actually looking pretty good so far. Let's make that a little warmer so I'll emphasize the blue going back in the background even more and get a little more shadow in there. There we go and take down the clarity boom and I think I'm going to do that also with the bottom right hand side of this image so hover over the dot duplicate and just move your filter over and of course we're going to rotate it now we've got a lot of emphasis or a lot more emphasis rather on the highway and the road going back into the distance here and let's bring up the sh uh, let's bring up the highlights on that just a little. 
there we go a little more exposure good okay and you know what I'm all about being bold let's put a little more saturation in those leaves there we go and there you have it all adjustments done locally with the graduated filter tool like I said it's a very powerful tool and it can save you a lot of trouble and give you a lot more control over your image let's just go back to the split panel look at the original on the left got the process image on the right of course you can go in and do some more global adjustments um, later maybe even export it to Photoshop finish up things there but it's definitely a great started point um, like I said the graduated filter tool is one of the best things you have in the box for really taking your photo editing to the next level um, experiment uh, work with your image yourself use some of the techniques you saw here and make your photographs look exactly the way you want thanks again for joining me and be sure to check out other great tips for developing your photo making skills over at contrastly.com this has been Adam and we will see you again next time <laughs>